Welcome to Everyone's a Millionaire podcast. Did you have any mentors or role models who influenced your approach to wealth building? And if so, how? Before you answer this question, I'm not asking who these mentors are. I'm asking how they helped you. And also one more tidbit. I'm, I think you're number 17, 18, 19 in terms of guests on the show. Eric Hatch was the only person that said he didn't have any mentors. <laughs> Everybody else had a mentor, at least somebody interesting. Go listen to the Eric Hatch episode if you're uh, if you're interested as well. Chris, to you though, did you have any mentors? So I'd assume the answer to that is yes. And then what did they do to influence you to you know your approach to wealth building? How did they help you? Yes, I did have mentors. Whether that was mentors of books that I read, uh, courses that I took or particular people that I hired. Um, So some of the lessons that came up for me, um, and I'm gonna go back because some of these lessons I still feel like, even though they're fundamental, are still so relevant today for me um, and for people that are listening. And one of the biggest ones is that when it comes to wealth building and managing money and being financially literate, 20% of it is knowledge and 80% of it is behavior. And I learned that lesson. I think a lot of it's like, I need to know more, but the problem is the impulses that we have, um, sometimes an inability to have self-control or to be reactive. Um, And that was a huge lesson that I realized wealth building was a lot about how I personally responded to money uh, as it continued to grow. You know, what, what I continue to increase my lifestyle every time my uh, financial um, status increased as well. And it's been interesting over the years to observe myself in, in regards to money. So that would definitely be one of the biggest lessons I've learned and still maintain. Man, great answer. Great answer. In fact, I, I knew the answer to this question kind of from you in a way. Uh, and the reason I say that is because I don't think I've ever met somebody that has had as many coaches and mentors as you. Every, ever since I met you, literally you've had three or four or five at any given time. And I've been so impressed at your ability to just go right to the source and learn from the person that you're wanting to be more like and speed up that transition. What is the main reason that anybody would want to have a, a coach or a mentor? And it's, you know, there's lots of reasons, but the main reason is speed. Right. And again, I'm just so impressed with you there, Chris. So just wanted to build on that that question there. Thank you for answering that. 